Hello, dude. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Right. How are you? I'm fine. All right. Good. And can you still remember our topic yesterday? Yes. Mm -hmm. What is it? Uh, we have a speaking about sports. Yeah, that's right. We're talking about like your sports, right? The things that you like to do. All right. And we're still not finished. We're still not finished with with the speaking class. So we're going to continue. So let me get the material again so we can continue. Right. So for this time, we are moving to, as you can remember, there are like, uh, we're going to use uh, cards and try to determine uh, how to ask questions and and answer the questions, okay? So we're going to pick it up there. Can you see my screen? Yes, I can. Okay, so as you can remember, we start from here, right? So, Again, I'll finally formulate questions by this information, okay? Yes. If you're ready, just tell me, I'll kindly start asking the question. Okay, I'm finished. All right. So, can you ask the first question here? Uh, is it open every evening? All right. And the answer is? Uh, <laughs> no, they doesn't. I know it isn't. Mm -hmm. It open from Tuesday to Saturday. Okay, it's only open from Tuesday to Saturday. And what time? At 9 p.m. Okay. Next, number, uh, Next number two. Is, mm -hmm. What music do they play? Mm -hmm. uh, they they play rock music from the USA. Okay, they play rock music from the USA. Good job. Next. What clothes are not allowed to wear? Are not allowed in the club or yeah, or in the disco. You. You are not allowed to wear jeans or t-shirts. Okay. No jeans or t-shirts. Okay, good. Next. <clears throat> uh, how much the, uh, is the student? How much does a student ticket cost? Okay, how much does a student ticket cost? Okay, good. It is six pounds. It uh, is five pounds. Okay, you can say regular price is six pounds. For students, it's only five pounds. 
Can you say it? Uh, regular tickets is six pounds, but for students is only nine up for five pounds. Five pounds. Five pounds. Okay, good. All right. Next. What time does it begin? Okay. It begins at 9 p.m. Okay, it begins at 9 p.m. Good job. So that's how you answer. Okay, uh, let's try to uh, like promote White House Disco. Like, hello everyone. I invite you to come to the White House Disco. We are open every Tuesday to Saturday at 9 p.m. We are playing music from, we are playing rock music from the USA. We are only allow, we only allow 18 years old and above. The tickets cost six pounds right for regular prices and five pounds for the students. Take note that there are no jeans or t-shirts allowed. Okay, your turn. Uh, welcome to the rice, uh, the White House Disco. Uh, there you can hear rock music from the USA. There, this disco is for over the people of over eighteen only. The doors open at 9 p.m. from Tuesday to Saturday. The regular ticket is six pounds, and for student is only five pounds. Okay. Uh, you can't wear jeans and t-shirts here. Okay, good. Nice. Now we're going to do the same thing here about the bidding competition. So take time for us to think about it. And if you're finished, just tell me, okay? So think about it. Teacher, I think that I'm finished. Okay, so start. Uh, well, what can we, uh, can I win something? Okay, what, like, what well, will I win? I mean, it's, around, I mean, you can say like, what, can we what will you win? If you, or wait a minute, let's try to win something. Uh, will there's like a thing that you will win here? Or what is the price? Okay, will there be a, what is the price? or will, will there be a prize winning here? Okay. Is there any prize in winning the painting competition? Okay, so I think that's a better question, right? Is there any yes. prize? <laughs> you can win a bicycle. Okay, good. Next. Uh, the second one, I think that is uh, 
What is the topic of the There is no paint? topic of painting. <laughs> there is no topic of painting. Uh, what is the... What is the painting all about? Or what should be in the painting? Yes. Okay, so again, what is your question? What is the painting about? Okay. The question, the answer is? It is, it is a picture of animal. Okay, it should be a picture of an animal. It should be a picture of animal. Okay, good. Next. Is it for everybody to join? Is it open for everybody or for anyone? Again, no, Dude, can you say? It isn't. Uh, is it open for everyone? Okay. What's no, it isn't. It's for young people from 8 to 16 years old. Okay, no, it isn't. It is only open for young people 8 to 16 years old. Can you say it again, Dude? No, it isn't. It is open for young people from 8 to 16 years old. Okay, good. Next. Uh, what is the competition address? Mm -hmm. it, is, it is in the, train, uh, the okay. 12 of High Street. Okay, so it's other way to ask the question is where will it be held? Okay, where is the competition held like that? So yes. you can say that twelve high street. Good job. And next, what is the last day to send the picture? Okay, send the picture. Very good. Or to submit your painting, not really picture. <laughs> yes. Okay. You uh, are the last. Uh, you must to. You must send it. Send. Before the 14th of September. Okay, you must send it on or before September 14th. Can you say it? You must to. You must to send it. You must send before. it, not you must do. You must send it. You must send it. Or, or before the. 14th of September. Okay, good. Last one. Okay, so the same thing here. We have to advertise a competition thing. Can you think of it? Okay, for example, hello everyone, I'm inviting you. Okay, hello everyone. I invite people from eight to 16 years old to submit any painting of an animal for our painting competition. You can sub send it to Young Artist Magazine at 12, Street, uh, 12 High Street on or before September 14, and you will have a chance of winning a bicycle. So come and submit your entries. Okay? Yes. Can you try it now? Uh, hello, everybody. I invite all of you for... Uh, I invite all of you from 8 to 16 years old come to the painting competition. You must paint a picture of an animal. Mm -hmm. And then send it to Young Artist Magazine at 12 High Street. You must to send it. You must do. The... Okay, you don't say you must do. You must send it. You must submit you it. Must send it. On you must send before. it before. On or before. On or before. Mm -hmm. On or before September 14th. And uh, you can 
Do you have the chance? Okay, you have a chance. Have a chance to to win, win a bicycle. All right, good, nice one, dude. So try to remember, right? So you don't say you must do. Okay, that is already. Um, you don't say you must do. You just say you must have, or you you must submit. Okay, so just a simple word. All right, so good. So let's continue now. Uh, we're already finished with speaking, definitely. So I will just get the next topic. Just give me a second. So we are moving now to write, reading and writing. Okay. We're fast. Okay. That's good. So let me share again my screen. Okay, can you see my screen about the reading and writing? Yes, I can. Okay, good. So for this one, let us read the vocabulary quickly. Course. Course. Okay, it's the same thing as course as well. Sweater. Sweater. This is a sweater, definitely. Mechanic. Mechanic. Engine. Engine. Cookbook. Cookbook. Reception. Reception. Okay, good. So this is a milk course. Okay, that's why you say it. You call this one milk course. Okay. This one is a subject course. Okay. So that's why they have the same... Um, <laughs> For example, a subject in school, you can also call it course, okay? Sweater, this mechanic, this is an engine, cookbook, and this is a reception, okay? Now, for this one, A to H notices, says this, one to five. For questions, one to five, mark the correct letter, A to H on your answer sheet, okay? So try to work it on your, on your I mean, uh, by yourself first, silently. So, for example... Uh, we work fast. So the answer there is definitely letter H. Okay. So try to answer it first. Doing if you're finished, just tell me teacher ready. Okay. Okay, Doing? Yes. Okay, good. Teacher, I'm ready. All right. So read number one. Number one, it is not for adults. Okay. Uh, a. Can you read a. other A? Young club under 16 only. Okay. So you read this as youth club, not young club. Youth club. Juice club. Yes, okay, good. Great. Number two. 
you can't drive this way. Uh, C, city center close to traffic all day today. Okay, good. Sarah, good job. Next, number three. We can help you day and night. D, tourist information open 20 hours. Okay, good. Very good. Next, number four. You can have dinner here. B, half price drinks with three cost meals. Okay, good. And last number four. Come here to, come here to book a holiday. F, turn a travel, fly away to the sun this summer. Okay, good job. Nice one, dude. Give me a high five. You got perfect here. Nice one. All right. So good job. Now for this one, you're going to read sentences six to ten about a computer. Choose the best word A, B, or C for each space. Okay. So that's okay. the example. So try to answer it first, too. If you're finished, just tell me teacher ready. Okay. Yes. Okay, I'm finished. All right. So read number six and tell me what's the answer. Uh, he showed Sam how to use it, B. He showed, very good. Next, number seven. Sam sent, I think that is an email message to his friend Billy to tell him about his nice present. Very good. That's an email message. Number eight. Billy come to Sam's house. Came. That's not and Sam. Billy came. came. Came to Sam's house and they did the geography homework together. Very good. Number nine. They were happy because they found some information about rivers on the internet. Okay, they were happy. Good job. And last, number 10. Afterwards, they enjoyed playing an, a new computer game together. Okay, very good. They enjoyed playing, not playing. Can you say that again? Playing. Playing. Very good. So you don't try to remove like Y from ING, okay? So you put them together, the sound. Playing, all right? So good. Nice one, dude. Perfect score. Good job. Give me another high five. All right. Nice one, buddy. Okay, for this one, uh, try to choose the best answer to complete the conversation here. For example, where do you come from? Definitely the answer is letter A, New York, okay? So answer it quietly, and if you're finished, tell me teacher ready, okay? Yes.
Okay. Can we start answering now? Yes. Very good. Uh, who's that man where uh, with the, the who's green that sweater? Who's that man with the green sweater? Who's ah. that man with the green sweater? Okay. Uh, I, I, he's my brother. Okay, good. Next, number 12. Where's Amanda gone? Where's Amanda Oi. gone? Where's Amanda gone? Okay, very good. Oi. She's at the station. Nice, number 13. I had shopping. Uh, so do I. Very good. 14. How long did the uh, journey, journey take? take? Okay. Journey take B, almost five hours. Very good. Next, 15. The rooms, the rooms cost 55 pounds a night. Mm -hmm. Give me two, please. That's a lot, okay. So it's actually, well, the answer for give me two, please, it's also correct. But of course, that's a little expensive already, 55 pounds a night. So that's really expensive. So that's why the normal reaction, that's a lot. Okay. But nice one, how much is 55 pounds? Okay. For dollar, 55 pounds. Uh, do you know the conversion in peso? Because in peso... One pound is equivalent like to 65 to 70 pesos. And one dong, I mean, one peso is equivalent to like 2,000 dong. Yes. So you can see um, that's too much, right? <laughs> I don't know yeah. because, uh, I mean, I don't know really the conversion or maybe we can look in the internet. Let me just check. Just quickly, let's try to see. Very curious. Currency conversion. So we get pounds. Um, UK. Where's UK? U And Vietnamese dong. This one. So one. That's one dong. Well, uh, one pound. Almost thirty-two thousand dongs already. Then yes. if we're going to make fifty-five, almost one million. So. One million. Yeah. Is it expensive? Uh. Regular. I think that is. I think it's expensive. That is the cost. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, because for for Philippine money, it's like four thousand already. Four thousand pesos. It's expensive. I mean, regular night should be like for if you're alone, if you're just one person, eight hundred to one thousand or two thousand. But 4,000 yes. means that is beautiful room, okay? Executive room. So you call that. Yes, it's like five star. Yeah, like that, the lux room, like the lux room. Okay, like this. So, so meaning it looks like this. So it should be look, it should look like, it should look like this, okay? Yes, because if in Vietnam there is if you just in the regular motel or hotel, that is only 100 or 200 a night, uh, 200,000 a night. But oh, that's that very, is ch very cheap, right? Million. Yeah, that's very cheap, right? Yes. So this one is 1 million, almost 1 million dong. So <laughs> that's really expensive, okay? Yes. Okay, so that's why it, that's a lot. Okay, good. 
So let's try to continue. So 16 to 20, complete the telephone conversation. So this one, uh, one of our favorite to answer. So try to focus first and let us answer. Good morning, how can I help you? And David, initial reply is letter E. Would you have a look at my car, please? Okay, do. So try to answer the remaining and tell me teacher ready if you're finished, okay? Yes. Yes, I think I'm finished. Okay, good. So I will be the mechanic and you will be David. So let's start. Good morning. How can I help you? Uh, can you have... Would you can have... You have a look, or would my... you have a look up at my car, please? <laughs> Again, read it Please. properly. Do I could with you? <laughs> Would you have a look at my car, please? Certainly. What's the problem? It won't won't start in the morning. It won't stop. Can you say it won't start in the it morning? It won't start in the morning. Good. How long have you had the car? I bought it new about four years ago. It, it, hmm. There may be something wrong with the engine. Oh dear, can I can you repair it now? I'm afraid we had a lot of work at the moment. I can't do it until Friday. It's only Monday today. I will go to another garage. Well, I suppose I can do it on Wednesday. That will be fine. Okay, good. Bring it, bring it in at 8.30 in the morning. Okay, nice one, Doon. Good job for answering this one. Okay, give me another high five. Good job. Keep it up. Yeah. All right. Nice one, buddy. Okay. For this one, we're going to read the article about Howard Bonnier. Our sentences 21 to 27, right or wrong? 
If there is not enough information to answer right or wrong, choose does and say which is letter C. For questions 21 to 27, mark A, B, or C on the answer sheet. So do uh, try to read it silently first. And if you're finished reading it silently, uh, tell me, teacher, ready. We're going to read it loud. Okay, then? Wait, let me drink some water. Okay, sure, sure. No worries. Yes, I'm finished. Okay, good. So try to read it first on Doom. Bray is uh, a... Bray is a beautiful village about 50 kilometers west of London. A young Englishman known a uh, name Howard Bonnier. Bonnier. Bonnier opened a restaurant called The Palace that about three and a half months ago. Not many people in British know Britain. Mr. Bonnier. Britain know Mr. Bonnier's name yet, but he's already quite famous in France. France. It is France. It is because he's he has, has written, written has written in French magazines about almost all the best restaurants in that country. He's only twenty nine years old. Okay. When Howard was a teenager. He often went to restaurants with his pet mother and father. He liked doing this so much that he decided not to buy lots of clothes and CDs. Instead, he used his money to visit France and eat 
in good restaurants. He also bought a lot of French and English cookbooks. He says he work, he has more than 250. So why did he decide to open a restaurant? Simply because he loves cooking. Has it been an easy thing to do? He's, he, says, he says, he says, he says, says it is expensive to start your own re restaurant, restaurant and is more difficult much more difficult to cook for 50 people to than to cook for your family but he's sure he's done the right thing all right, so good job for reading it good there. So we are reading about Howard Bunye. Okay, so the restaurant is called The Palace. So, I mean, in real sense, palace looks like this, like a castle. All right? Yes. Okay. Okay, so this is ABC, right, wrong, or C doesn't say. Okay, so these are the questions. So can you read number 21? Uh, Howard is a friend. A. Okay, he is a French. Howard Vonier is a French. That's I know. wrong. <laughs> B, B, B. Okay, He's remember. He is what? He is? British. Yes, it's British, right? If you can remember. Okay. So these are the information. Read number 21. The palace has op been open for less than, less than a year. A. Okay, letter A. Good. Okay, number 22. Lots, lots of people in French know about Howard. A, A, uh, C. Lots of people in France know about Howard. Are you sure? Letter C? Uh, A, 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 because he is quite famous. Famous, right. So that's A. Good. Number 23. Howard's parents took him out to restaurants. Okay. Uh, A. Okay, good. Number 24. Howard has always spent a lot of money on clothes. C. Uh, B, B, B. B. Okay, letter B. Okay, good. Howard has written books about French cooking. Uh, C. You let us see. Good job. Number 26. I, uh, it costs a lot of money to eat in Hogwarts restaurant. C. Okay. Doesn't say right. Last 27. Hogwarts Says cooking says for a cooking. lot of. You always said that says cooking. Says yes. Says cooking for a lot of money is easy. B. Okay, good, nice one. Okay, so nice one, doing. Already finished here. So good job. Give me a high five again. All right, nice one, buddy. Yes. Okay, we're finished for the week. Thank you very much for coming to class. It's already time. So let us see each other again next weekend, okay? So thank you, thank you, and goodbye now. Bye.